So knowing what is important to you and then being able to stay focused on it for a long period of time is probably the most essential skill that you can cultivate, especially in the today's world of distractions. And in this video, we are discussing about how to do just that. So the main aspect of having a strong focus is to have a clear and precise focal point, right? So if your goal is too vague or too wide, now that will diffuse and weaken your focus. On the other hand, if you have a clear and precise goals, now that will act as a magnet for your focus and it will sharpen and strengthen your focus naturally. And of course, there's a big qualifier here that your goal must be aligned with what is important and meaningful to you. And I created a separate video for that and there's a link below in the description. But the main point here is that you must have a clear, precise and actionable goal. So for me, the goal here is to create a video series to, that can help someone to move from this state of confusion and inaction to the state of clarity and definite action. Now, this gives me a very precise and clear point to focus on. And I can just cut down the rest of the noise. And the thing is, you don't even need to have a perfect goal, but you must have a clear goal. And once we have our focal point right in the place, now we can add some tactics that can help us to refine this process. So the first tactic is to keep your goal calibrated to your skill. Now, what does that mean? So when our goals are much higher than our skills, we feel frustrated. When our goals are much lower than our skills, we feel bored. But when our goals are slightly higher than our skills, we feel engaged and we experience what the positive psychologists call the state of flow. And in practice, I've noticed that more often than not, we create our goals much, much higher than our skills. And then we feel frustrated and leave in the middle. So the first tactic is to keep your goal calibrated to your skill. Now that will keep you engaged. The second tactic is to keep your goal inside your circle of control. Now there are things that are inside our circle of control and then there are things that are simply not, especially other people's behavior. And when we create our goals which are outside of our circle of control, we are asking for unnecessary frustration. For example, I can create a goal that I want a thousand subscribers on YouTube in next one month which is not inside my circle of control. Or I can create a different goal that I will market my content to 10,000 people, which is something inside my circle of control and I can do something about it. So the second tactic is to keep your goal inside your circle of control. That will save you from a lot of unnecessary frustration. And third and a final tactic for this video is to feed your interest by consuming the right information. Now I don't know anything about surfing, but what I know is if I watch some cool videos about it or if I read some interesting articles about it, that will ignite an interest inside me. And we can use the same principle with our goals as well. So if your interest level from your goal is dropping, you can consume some positive and fun information about your goals and that will reignite your interest. And that's how you can keep feeding your interest. So to have a strong focus, we first need a clear and precise goal to focus on. And once we have that in the place, we can make sure that our goal is properly calibrated. It's inside a circle of control. And then we are feeding our interest by consuming the right information. And in my opinion, that will give you a very strong focus. Hey guys, I'm Nitesh and I hope this video was helpful. So if you find this information useful, please subscribe, like or comment. And when you do that, it makes me feel so good. But then it also helps me to reach other people. And thank you very much for watching it.